How's it going guys? Electron Man. Well, we're going to do a product review today. Hopefully you'll enjoy this. Um, I've been wanting one of these for a while. And uh, they've just been really honestly out of my price range. And uh, I finally they finally come down in price. I mean, I'm sure this is not a high-end one. But I think for, for what I'm looking for as far as, you know, component tracing or component looking at components at hot components, I think it'll do just fine. Um be kind of interesting to see we'll go ahead and get her out of the package uh part first part of my review is it's one of these dang blister packages i tell you these things i know where they call them blister packages because you get blisters opening them but i already been picking at it and i ain't had no luck so i'm gonna have to get the, the hardcore out here and, and cut it this way which i hate to do i'd rather be able to open it nicely but anyway we're just gonna have to go this route and be careful not to not to damage anything when we cut it out. That's why I hate using this a knife like this because I'm afraid I'm gonna cut through something. See, I'm, the case is below there, and I don't want to cut the case. So hopefully we can do this neatly without tearing up too much or tearing up anything as far as that goes. Yeah, I think that's gonna work pretty good. Okay, there we go. We we'll get that guy out of there. That's the main item right there, and then I. So it's got a cool little case that comes with it as well. USB cable and four AAA batteries. Here's what it kind of looks like here. Go ahead and see a little protective cover over here. Yeah, I love peeling those off. Oh, yes. Okay, let's see. How's the batteries going, this guy here? Well, that's interesting. Looks like it's got a screw holding the, the battery case. Well, let me go get a screwdriver. I'll be back. Okay, we got a screwdriver now. It's a little flat blade. Well, I guess one thing about that's a very secure way of doing it. At least it's got one of them screws that holds in there. It doesn't fall out when you unscrew it. Go and get the batteries out here. Yeah, let's see what we got going on here. And it shows you. Okay, positive. So we want positive. Positive. And it shows. Minus. Minus, so you got positive two up positive or two minus not two positive that way. Just kind of close the lid on there and put the screw back in. And I kind of like this. It's a good secure way of holding it. Okay, and let's see how do you turn it on? Hmm. button on top turns it on. Yeah. Boot in there. And while it kind of, okay, I see it kind of overlays your temperatures there. And it looks like you can yeah, you can bring more of the picture in or more of the thermal in by going the up and down arrows. I heard uh, some of the reviews it's not real good on range wise. I'm for me, anything two or three foot away is what I'm looking for, so I don't know how let's see how it does this go away. It does pretty good even long distance. It's got a little you can tell there's two little squares it's sampling I guess the hot and the cold. And then uh not sure. We'll go ahead and as you hopefully you can see that right there. Let's see my hand probably put some thermal out. Yeah, so you can see my hand. See my hand on that. Wow, so far I'm pretty impressed. It doesn't look like it's real hard to operate. I'm about where I should be. Uh, looks like uh, it's about 81 degrees in here. A little bit warm, but let me turn this looking for something that was had some heat ah there we go oh yeah they definitely uh 
It's what a thermal camera is. I mean, that's for sure. Let me uh, see if I can. It's already got an SD card in it, so you sit. Okay, we say SD card. Okay, photos, move files. And I guess the little trigger on the back's how you. Yeah, that's how you take the picture. I'm going to take a few pictures for you guys and I'll put them at the end so you can kind of see what I'm seeing here. Okay, we took some pictures over there, which we'll put on the end of it. I mean, that'll kind of give you an idea. Um, from what I can tell, I mean, super simple to use. You have the little trigger on the back, which that's where you want to focus and point out to get your uh, your measurement, and you kind of just move it around, and it, it shows you the hot and colds. But the two little, uh, you got a green and a, and a red, and they'll use those samples there to... get your temperatures pretty cool pretty cool construction wise it's kind of kind of one of them little red rise filling hands um, comes with basically batteries USB cable and a cool little case here let me go ahead and power it off here assuming that's how you power it off Yeah, just hold it down and it powers it off. Let's take a little look at the case here. Oh yeah, and there's instructions. So I guess you just you just kind of you put it underneath the strap or I don't think you need to do that. I think you just put it right there. Put it right like that. You gotta place that USB cable and then loop her up. Boom, there you go. Cool. This is the AMES Ames Professional Compact Infrared Thermal Camera, is what it is. Um, I actually picked this up off of, uh, at Harbor Freight. I noticed they have one, um, I believe it's the exact same one at Amazon, which I'll actually show you a link for it, but it's a little under $200. And uh, I mean, like I said, they've been running five, six hundred dollars and I just I didn't have the budget for that. but for two hundred dollars and i'm not trying to do a thermal of a house you know i think for a 32 by 32 area which is what this scans it's perfect for me doing component troubleshooting it'd be good in automotive to you know check your exhaust temperatures or i mean i could see a lot of uses for this uh, like i said i'm glad that they're finally gotten them down to a, a consumer level to where we you know a normal guy like me can afford one so far so good i'll, I'll include the pictures and i'll let you uh, be uh decision maker of how you think the quality looks on that so far i think it's going to do perfect for what i need hopefully you like this little review i know it's going to be kind of short not a whole lot i mean it's kind of a box open and put a couple batteries in and do a couple of scans and kind of show you what it does um it appears to be doing everything i was expecting it to so we'll, uh, we'll, we'll roll with that. Have a great day, guys. This is Electron Man. If you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel and give me a thumbs up.